It's kind of always been a dream of mine and I actually, growing up um, in Nanaimo um, with my grandma, we used to talk and dream about having a little restaurant one day and, and you know, that was a big part of it and she would bake and we would, we would make things together. Being an engineer, doing what we do, doing it well, but having fun and building zip lines and designing climbing walls and being outdoors. We're on, uh, on the farm that my dad bought in 1961. Uh, we've been farming, dairy farming here ever since and my wife and I took over in 1995. The reason I wanted to, to farm here was because I couldn't imagine a better place to raise my family. Being a mom and taking care of my kids and my family and uh, being kind to people, helping people out, doing the right thing and working hard. As a business owner, I have a mentor that told me one time, they said, there's three people you need to have a good, close relationship with. Uh, one of them is your accountant, one of them is your lawyer, and the other is your credit union. And the important part about that is that any time you call any one of those people or those firms, uh, they know who you are, they know what your interests are, and they know how to look out for you. And it's important because you can't do anything on your own. As a business, you're you dependent on good key relationships with your clients, good key relationships with your staff, and good key relationships with your business partners. And a credit union is, is as much a business partner as it is a supplier. Banking for the farm is my job. My credit union helps us out quite a bit. Uh, we don't have to worry about little things, like we don't have to worry. Somebody's always watching our accounts so that um, we don't have to worry about it. You get the phone call and everything, you know, well, Sam, you need to, you know, we need to fix this or we need to do this or but somebody's always watching your accounts and um, taking care of your stuff and taking care of your children's um, banking needs and, and it's just it's awesome. There are great differences between banks and, and credit unions and for me the main thing is that that connection to community and uh, through that uh, the the investment that gets put into the community all the time so um, you know, whether it is uh, through scholarships or su supporting the various community groups that are really instrumental in a small community like Enderby. I, I quickly realized that, that the credit union was, was central to the community and nothing, nothing of importance happened in Enderby without the credit union's involvement. When my husband and I first got married and we were young and, you know, we had student loans and we had debt, we went to, we were banking with a traditional bank um, at that point and we went to them to ask for, you know, some advice or ask for some, some help to, to move on to the next step in our lives. And the answer that we got was you should declare bankruptcy and move in with your parents. And we said, oh, okay, and that was kind of a harsh reality check for us. Um, and that was when we made the decision to move to a credit union and we, we went into the credit union to talk about our situation. And at that point, we kind of felt a little defeated um, from the answer that we got from the bank. And they were so amazing and they worked with us and they, you know, gave us advice and, and helped us through that time in our lives and, and it was, you know, it was monumental in moving us forward from that young stage in our lives to, to where we are now and that's, we haven't stopped banking with credit union since then because that, that feeling that we got that we realized that a credit union looked at us more as, as people, as potential rather than as an, a number. We had a big loss in January. My father passed away from cancer. And it's hard enough to lose a family member, but to have to go to all those banks and try and get anything done was horrendous. And I thought it was horrible because there's other people that were doing it that were a lot older than me and they were doing it by themselves. And coming back to my branch, they were actually doing some of the work for me to get my business done at four or five of the big banks. It was horrendous and it made me appreciate the people at my branch even more. When you reach a point where things are not looking super awesome and, and or you reach a, a little problem along the way, um, to feel like you can go to your financial institution and they're not gonna judge you or they're not gonna, they're not another person to fight against. They're actually a, a part of your team and they're actually going to help you get over it and, and get on to the next step. 
um, with the business is a great feeling. To me, the measure of success of how good our engineering is, is, is a five-year-old's laughter. It's the high five from the mom to the dad thinking that they had the best holiday ever and that we as engineers could be a part of that. I, I don't think in any way, shape or form that we could have nearly that much fun if we didn't have the support of our families, the support of our colleagues, but the support of our business partners. And the fact that, that all three of those groups like to have fun too, in fact, they might like to have more fun than we do. Um, that to me really displays shared values and shared success. And, and that's, that's sustainable. My name is Corey Corfield and I'm the owner of Dogtown Coffee Co. in Penticton, BC and I'm a member of Valley First. I'm Andrew Higginson and I'm the principal of Higginson Consulting in Mill Bay and I'm a member of Island Savings. My name is Quentin Bruns. I'm a dairy farmer in Mara. I'm a member of Enderby and District Financial and a director at First West. My name's Sam Gishon. We are all members of Envision Financial and we love it. <laughs>